Yeah. Yeah. Hello, right, so I'm just uh, doing this for Stone and Wave off Instagram. I just messaged her and they were going, said I'd do a, a thing on a bowl. Um, so this is for you. I'll send it to you if I can somehow. Uh, or I'll just add, I'll add it on my fa my one and sort of hashtag you or whatever it is. You know, so this is, I don't know how much, it's roughly the amount um, you were using. So for bowls, what I do is I start tall. Um, so that's your prep, your prep bump is starting tall. And then I'm just bringing your thumb and make a wee little bowl, like tall bowly shape in it. That's not for the shape of the bowl that you can actually do. Um, that's just so you've got that thickness to support it. And pick that up and let the rim start coming out. And this starts being, so you've got a thick rim, so that's sort of in that slight Diablo shape curve out. Take your knuckle, knuckle up and come up and out all the way so you're sort of setting your rim where it wants to be because then this is done under compression so you're not stretching the rim and separating the particles out as you come up and you can do that again if you want just make sure you've got it where you want it and because this is definitely got all of it yeah we've got all of it because this is trying to fall over this way and this is trying to fall over this way and obviously you've got it's colloidal so you've got like this uh, it's almost like a suction bond with the with the water then then it's all trying to fall over at the same time and that means gravity is if you think about it as being gravity is pushing down so the whole arch thing that people talk about is right, but if you're doing it as a bowl that way, you're working on the inside of the arch, not the outside of the arch. So the the, the physics that's mentioned right, it's just the wrong way around for, for what it's actually doing. So if you imagine that this is the arch, and it's only half of it, so imagine it's coming like that because gravity's going down, that's, that's the actual arch that keeps it stable. So if I spin that and give it a good belt, you know, I'm not, not being gentle with it. Still got a fairly stable rim. But if I, so I can still come in and belly that out into a bowl, even though I've sort of knocked it about quite a bit. And you can you just come come with the belly past the rim and ease off if you want you to do that curved in curved in one. But now as soon as I've got that into that bowl shape. If I just gently tap, because there's no tension from gravity, I'm working on with it the other way round. See, it just goes all over the place. I'm just gently tapping. I was proper whacking it before. So that's that's basically the physics that you're looking at. Is is that the arch is actually off the off the side of it, and that's the arch off the side of it, and then that's your that's your that's your actual pot, and then that that gravity coming down like that. So when you distort this here that arch still exists above. So you always have that tension, even when you're distorting stuff down here. Um, so if you give that one a go, you'll probably find it a lot quicker and easier to make to make your bowls and keep them from uh, wobbling in the rim, which then, which then pulls you off with, uh, it's basically it's leverage, isn't it? So you've got gyroscopic force when it's, um, a balanced rim but as soon as that rim goes out of whack then you've got a leverage off that you've got gyroscopic force that keeps pulling it pulling it out even more so i hope you find that useful that's it bye